All right, hey, check it out. I wanted to make a video to show you guys what I'm doing with as far as crypto exchanges, wallets, and introduce you to the idea of cryptocurrency. Now, some of you already have some, but a lot of you don't. So anyway, I just wanna just pop through what I'm doing to give you a starting point. And so here we go. First where first place we're going to start is Coinbase. I used to recommend this one all the time because they were selling XRP. They temporarily delisted it, but it's still a good exchange, very beginner friendly. So this is the first page. When you get there, you're going to just go to the get started and then it's really simple. You just follow the steps that it gives you. Then once you get inside, I'm going to show you an area that you're going to need to, to check to make sure that you have um, the highest level of your accounts. And so you log in and you sign up, but you're not done yet. What you want to do is go over to your name up in the top right, click on settings. And then there's a bunch of tabs here. You can go first to security. And then we go down here and you have your authenticator. So this is where you set up your um, Google authenticator app. Let me show you mine real quick. So on your phone, it's going to be this one right here. You click on that and you can see all the different exchanges that I have going on, but we're talking about Coinbase. So we can see right there. Uh, that's the Coinbase one. And it's just a security thing. So anyway, that's where that's at. It's over here in security. The other thing you're going to do, go over to payment methods and then add payment method. And here you can see I have my Chase Bank checking account is associated with it. And then um, last thing, you'll go over to account limits. So that you're like, how am I doing if I'm doing this right? You're going to go over to account limits and then you can see the different levels. And then so level one has a lot of restrictions. Level two and three, it opens it up for higher account limits. Like you can see, I can make purchases of 35,000 a day, cards of five, yada, yada. And then you can see that the level three is you verify with the photo ID. And so it's just like any other bank account. There's quite a few steps. You sign up, verify your ID, get your bank account information, and two-factor authentication and now you're pretty much all set up so then now that you have a coinbase account i'll go over to my portfolio and we could see the portfolio page i have 44 bucks in here right now i keep most of mine on trust wallet which i'll show you in a minute but we could see my account i have some stellar lumens i got 24 bucks worth of stellar lumens there's 36 of them okay and now up here in the top right corner, we have send and receive, buy and sell. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to buy. So we got buy, sell or convert. So buy and I'm going to top up on my XLM. So let's go back here. We click on buy and then we have, OK, well, what are we going to buy? Bitcoin? No, I said I wanted to buy XLM. So we just scroll down on the list. All right, XLM, Stellar Lumens. How much do I want to buy? I want to, I'm going to go big right now and buy a thousand. Preview buy. Now we're looking at to make sure that this makes sense. So it's going to be this many lumens. The purchase price is this much. The Coinbase fee is nice, 14 bucks. And then the total. Okay, boom buy now okay continue and then that's it now I just click off uh, I click on like home portfolio and then we can see bang it's already in there usually what happens right now though is that there's gonna be like a settlement period for the transaction to clear with your bank so the funds will be available and locked in immediately but you won't be able to transfer it off usually uh, until it clears your bank account. So it could be a couple of days. Um, or in the case of Uphold, it's like a lot longer, it's like 60 days. But anyway, so then there, I just made a purchase order. But let's see here. Now, 
I want to send it off of the exchange onto my trust wallet. We download trust wallet onto our phone. We're gonna send and receive. So do it, am I gonna, I'm sending. Okay, what am I gonna send? Stellar, and then here we would put in the address from my wallet. I'm kind of got to skip this right now, but anyway. So this is Coinbase, really simple to use, and it's a great place for beginners. All right, but the big problem is they don't currently sell XRP, which is my favorite cryptocurrency. It still has, in my opinion, a strong chance of going to $10 and uh, complete its bull run. It's sort of a laggard in this market. Um, another one that I use that you can um, buy XRP on is Bitru. So then you log into Bitru and I click over here on my assets and then we get over to here and we can see what I have going on here. Now, usually I only hold XRP, but I expanded out my holding so you can see all the different cryptos that I own here. So the biggest one, this is the Flare Spark token, which is actually just the IOU. Most of my friends are on Coinbase right now. They have um, Spark that's going to come to them this month, sometime in June or next month. Um, but they can't see it yet. This is just an IOU. All right, Quant, pretty good, interesting one. Balancer, Telcoin, Wanchain. All right. Xfin, VeChain, Gala, which is about games. Uh, Shib, this is a meme token, Akita meme token. These things are up like 200% in like the last three days. Some Bitcoin, USDT, Tether, Ethereum, XRP, Binance Coin. Anyway, you can see it there. Um, when I want to buy, usually what I do with Bitchu is I'll just move account, uh, move money into here, like with from one of my other exchanges, and then you click on exchange. And then here you have your different markets up here. So um, whatever, we have some tether. And then we can look down on the list. Oh, I want to buy uh, XRP. So then we find the trading pair. The easiest way to do this, it's like all this chart stuff. Oh my God, I'm not a stock trader. What? You go over here to market order and then you got buy or sell. So you could see available USDT tether, which is the same thing as a dollar. I got 179 buy XRP and I could just click amount. So uh, I'm going to use half of my tether to buy XRP. It's a market order. Boom. So it'll, it'll complete. Now I could go back up to my assets, my assets, and we would see you know, the addition of the XRP in there. All right, next one is Binance.us. For, I'm gonna talk about helium mining here in just a second. And when you're doing helium mining, you're gonna need an account on Binance US because you can see down here on my list, I have some HNT Helium tokens. Uh, it's $700 in value and it's 47 of them, all right? But for people who set up the Helium Hotspot mining, you plug this thing in, you set up the app, and then it's gonna start producing HNT tokens on your app. Well, then you take your HNT tokens press send and then you're going to send them over here now how do you receive them well you're going to deposit or withdraw trade now you're going to deposit you want to deposit from your app on your phone onto binance so that way you could trade into dollars and then sell to your bank account so you click deposit and then it's as simple as here's your address bing copy the address take that address and put it into the app so Right now I'm using a desktop, but then that app would be on your phone. So then I would, you could do it different ways, but I would just email it to myself or send myself a private messenger uh, with this address. And this is perfectly fine to share. I can show you guys now, it doesn't matter. 
The only thing you could do with this address is send me. You can't take any of my HNT. You could only send me. So feel free. All right. Next is KuCoin. This is a new one for me. And this is the reason I have this exchange was originally that it has certain tokens that they don't have on some of the other exchanges. So that is one of the primary reasons to have multiple exchange accounts. The other one is if you hold your assets on exchanges, it's good to divide them up. So that way, in case one of the exchanges is hacked or whatever the problem is, the best thing is to hold them on your wallet, on your phone, which I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, I like to have multiple exchange accounts. And uh, so anyway, we could see here in KuCoin, it's pretty easy to set up. And then you have a main account and a trading account. So here's my main account. And we get to see some of the stuff that I have. This Bax coin, which is like an interesting project for, um, it has a phone app where people can send each other money, but it's more for like remittances or maybe people in Africa. People who are unbanked would use this app and be able to easily send money in different currencies. So it's, it's a pretty neat thing. This is a new buy that I just got today, Safe Haven. It is something that I'm looking into is that what happened? So I have quite a bit invested in cryptocurrency. I've taught a trusted person how to access my money and uh, how to get into my crypto and all the private keys and everything. And so uh, that person knows how to get in here. But anyway, Safe Haven is a service where it's like a last will and testament for your digital assets. You're able to like set it all up. So that way in the case of your death, then bang, it'll automatically be able to handle this stuff. So it's not lost forever because it's sort of a tricky thing about cryptocurrency is that you're in charge of your money and there's not insurance like so much as in a normal bank account. And so if you um, die and you don't, pass this on in the right way like that that money is going to be locked away forever and no one's going to be able to get to it and so that's kind of a neat use case all right filecoin polka dot v chain um, all very interesting a um, lot going on with kucoin so then they have uh you have your main account your trading account um it has bots in here so you have um different types of leverage trading uh there's these trading bots i'm not going to go into all that but it's a freaking awesome platform a lot of cool features and then so as you progress in your understanding of crypto you're going to you're going to find yourself over here into kucoin where you can get some of those more unique tokens all right now I was just talking about exchange accounts. What you're gonna wanna do next is, let me pop back over here temporarily, is you're gonna want to, let's go here. What you're gonna wanna do is move your tokens off of the exchange and then you can see, uh, hopefully you can see this right here, Trust Wallet with this white logo with the blue shield. Bing, you click on that, and then now we're inside my trust wallet. And you can see all these different cryptos here. And you can see I got a lot of XRP going on. And then so you have up here at the top, send and receive. So I just made my first purchase of XRP on uh, Uphold. I didn't show you Uphold, which uh, let me do that real quick. So we're gonna go back. Uphold is another account besides uh, Bitru that has XRP available. And so definitely if you don't know what's going on with that like cryptocurrency, you're going to want to just buy XRP. If I had only one currency that I would own, it would 100% and easily be XRP. So anyway, what's really neat about this is here we're in Uphold. Uh, most people have it on their phone as an app, but I don't know why I'm old school. I like it on desktop. Uh, you can see I'm down 9% today, so that's tough. I did have $8,600, and then now I have I lost $1,000. Oh, my gosh, it's so disappointing. 
which brings up a good point is the volatility in crypto is a lot. I have a super long-term mindset. And so this kind of stuff makes zero difference to me at all. Whereas maybe if you're not used to it, you're going to be affected anyway. So over here is how this gets done. So you sign up the similar method of Coinbase. You sign up, you link your bank account, and then now you want to buy some stuff. So right here, I select my bank account. Um, it's giving you a little notice. It says that you won't be able to withdraw your crypto for 64 days. It's freaking stupid. It's the dumbest thing ever. However, it's easy to use and you don't really need to sell this stuff. We could sell it for cash, but anyway, so, um, hold on, let me get my music playing again. Um, anyway, so we have our. Uh, checking account, what do we want to value the, our next thing in? We can value it in dollars or Canadian dollars, pesos. We want it in dollars. And then now, what do I want to do? Well, I want to buy XRP. So I have my bank account. We're talking in the terms of dollars. And um, usually it pops right up. Anyway, you get it. You'll find XRP, select it. How much do you want to buy in dollars? I want to buy a hundred dollars worth of XRP. That's good. Okay, here we go. So then what do I want to buy? Cryptocurrencies. Boom. Uh, so you select it and then you say in how much do you want to buy? So what are we looking at here? We got hundred dollars from my from my checking account will give me 69 XRP preview deposit remember you're not it's so stupid okay boom confirm deposit and let it do its thing it's usually pretty quick maybe a lot of people are buying right now Anyway, now back to the trust wallet. So we have our trust wallet. We just bought some of our XRP on the exchange. Now we want to receive it. So we just press receive. Well, we're going to receive XRP. And then we have our um, wallet address. So then we just copy this, scan it. You get the whole point. The whole deal is to get this receive address inside of Uphold after your 65 days of clearing all right um what else so yeah uphold or a uh, trust wallet now which is what we're talking about is really nice because we have all of these um different uh, cryptos that we can have in there and then what's also kind of weird is i have multiple wallets attached to this so it's a little bit of an advanced thing but metamask is a way of interacting with DeFi, decentralized finance, pancake swap, wand swap, well, maybe not wand swap, but uh, all this pretty kind of like fancy stuff where it seems pretty hard at first, but it's actually like really easy. So anyway, like you have um, my MetaMask is attached to um, Trust Wallet as well as Binance has a smart chain much cheaper fees than metamask and ethereum and so that's sort of the next thing i'm getting a little bit fancy all that i'm trying to say to you is that like trust wallet is very useful it's very easy to use and uh, i like it a lot um i'll show you on my phone this is a, a new thing that i started getting into iotx so iotx and uh, it's a cool project it's about the internet of things and then what happens was i'm like okay so i like this i'm going to invest in it i buy some on kucoin and then i download the iotex wallet on my phone which is what we're looking at and then you want to deposit Bing. and then so you go in there and then you deposit actually this is my address right up here at the top uh right here Hopefully you can see that. So then I bought IOTEX on the exchange. 
I get my wallet, I find the address, boom, I send it over here. And then um, it has this other thing called staking, which just means locking it up, loaning your out, kind of like loaning it out, but staking is a crypto term. And then uh, for this particular one, I am locking it up. So I have, anyway, it's just, there's things going on. There's things to do. And the reason you do that is to earn um, extra tokens. You get rewards, money, basically free money for doing this kind of stuff. Now, this video is long enough already, but let me get my music going again. Um, quickly coming over here i talk a little bit about uh helium on my post on facebook all the time so um you go to helium.com and slash mine and then you're gonna see these are some of these miners the bobcat miners really nice and uh, they all cost about four hundred dollars um, they come with usually come with an antenna and everything that you need and all you do is you You buy this thing you plug it in you set up an app you put the antenna in your window or what I would do is put it on the roof Get a better antenna. It's a whole subject of its own and then you earn HNT for Participating setting up a network. You're essentially acting like your own Verizon cell phone tower so instead of one Verizon tower, there's going to be a thousand mini towers and it's decentralized data privacy. It's a very good thing. Um, different stuff. I don't know. We get into NFT. So this is an NFT token that I bought and then I'm farming it. I don't know. I'm just showing you stuff that I do. Singularity is a new one that I bought and then I, I bought it. And then you stake it over here and then you earn more rewards. PancakeSwap is one of those DeFi platforms. So I go over here to PancakeSwap, dot finance, farms. We connect our wallet and connect it with MetaMask. Uh, okay. Cancel. It's a little tricky, but here we go. We're on Ethereum mainnet. Now I'm going to connect my wallet, MetaMask, and it should work. Whatever. Now we're linked up, and then you go down here, and then this is the only reason why I want to show you this is look at this uh, APR right here 315%. So if you lock in, uh, ten thousand dollars and you're in three hundred percent at the end of the year you now have thirty thousand dollars which is like really wild um, it's a subject done of its own all right Lodo is a thing where you got a wallet and then you go on to one of these uh, DeFi platforms and you you trade some ethereum and you get a Lodo token and what this is is a no loss lottery and if I go down here it tells you that on this date, the entry price is five Lodo tokens. And then this person won 17,900 Lodo tokens. It's, it's a lottery. It happens twice a week. It costs, I don't know, maybe it does cost you five. Anyway, it's kind of like a weird thing. It's just, I found out about it. All right. And to finish up, I'm going to, to show you this which is cointracker.io and they have the free one and then you enthusiast and you're gonna want to get this and what happens it's a little bit of a thing to get it all set up but you uh, attach this API that it comes with it gives you instructions to your exchange accounts so it's linked to your coinbase account your uphold account whatever you have you link those you just follow the steps and then it keeps track of your buy and sell orders. You press one button and it can give your accountant your uh, capital gains tax for that year because it's a very important thing. You don't want to get excited about cryptocurrency and then uh, make some money, but then end up like really screwing yourself because you didn't pay your taxes. They're going to figure it out. 
everything on blockchain is more trackable than anything else. So you're not going to get away with it. You'll get away with it for a year or two. Um, and then that's going to be it. The last thing is we have the subject that I've been talking about today is we have exchange accounts. So that's going to be step number one. You get a Coinbase account, an uphold account. You get a trust wallet on your phone. So whatever you buy on the exchange, as soon as you can, you're going to put it on your trust wallet. And then now you're in charge of your money. And then your journey will lead you to KuCoin. And then you're going to buy some interesting coins, maybe some meme coins, uh, freaking Dogecoin. And then you're going to make your way to DeFi, which it's going to seem, and it was to me, like it, a complicated thing, but it's not. You can do it. And when you get into that world of DeFi, your onboard ramps are going to be MetaMask, which I click on this Fox icon. That's my MetaMask. And I have different networks on here. So here's Ethereum mainnet, MetaMask, and then here's like, there's my Lodo tokens. So I have those and now I'm playing that lottery. All right, WanMask is just like MetaMask. And then the same thing with Binance Smart Chain. And then today I just started doing Polkadot. So I'm getting that set up. Um, okay, one last thing, you have to see this. This is crazy. So I'm going to log in. Um, we're talking about DeFi now. And one of the things that you do on DeFi is uh, what they call yield farming. So you bought some XRP. It's gone up in value, but it's just sort of sitting there. And then now you want to put it to work and earn some returns. And this, oh, wait, you're not seeing it. Sorry. Um, this is called Zookeeper, which is a yield farming website. Now, look at this crap. It's got these weird characters and everything. So what's going on here is I'll find the one that I like. Uh, it's going to be Raff, uh, Rafferty G Money. <laughs> All right, but it's a little weird, but what you see is here, you see Juan, which is, uh, I like that. It's a coin that I like. And then there's Juan XRP, which is XRP on the Juan chain. So I like both of those. So like you go through this process where you take these two separate coins, you combine them into one, and then you take that and you put it onto here and earn yourself 236%. APY so if you held it in there for a year you're getting it and you get additional things this times five with Z is the zoo token and so now we're talking about dual farming where I already have these assets and this is the future of finance this is crazy um, you already have things that you like you're holding them anyway you put them on this platform and then you're earning your APY plus you're earning zoo tokens, which is worth money. And there's, it's a whole gamified thing. And so I just think that this is fascinating. So let's look at here, 330 for FNX and one, you know, so this is pretty neat. This video is long enough. We're at 28 minutes already. I'm sorry about it. I'm posting this on Facebook because I don't care, but this is your introduction to cryptocurrency what I'm gonna do is make some courses I want to do like really step by step how to onboard into this crypto world so if you're new completely new or whatever whoever you are um, I've been doing this for a long time so I have a lot of experience I halfway know what I'm doing enough to be dangerous and I'm gonna help people out and so if you have questions I'm going to be making courses. If there's certain things that you want to see me uh, talk about in my courses, um, let me know. Send me a message. All right. Uh, talk later.